Dio sent a total of 28 stand users at Jotaro and the Crusaders over the course of their journey. Two of these enemy stand users were the Darby brothers. Today we're going to be looking at the stand of the younger brother, Terence T. Darby's stand, Atom. Also, before we get started, please consider subscribing if you enjoy the content I'm making and want to help by supporting the channel. Your support is, and always will be, extremely appreciated. Atom manifests as an artificial humanoid which boasts an athletic build similar to that of Terence himself. It also has a white body with various pink, purple and black heart shapes covering various parts of its athletic figure. This is similar to Vanilla Ice's Cream and Dio's The World, as those stands also have heart shapes covering their body. Atom also lacks any sort of mouth or nose, but it does display a nozzle on either side of its face that connects from the neck to the sides of its chin. Internally, this then links up to the rounded exhausts on its head where the ears would be. These exhausts periodically shoot out steam. Terence's stand's eyes also take a very robotic form, and the face of the stand has Terence T. Darby's first and last initials written on it in full display. Atom is named after the Egyptian god Atom. Atom is considered to have been the first god to exist. He supposedly created himself, then went on to create all the other gods and the universe itself. The Egyptian god Atom's name is thought to mean complete or perfection. Nine men and women were seen leaving Dio's hiding place in Cairo. These nine people supposedly received the power of stands from Dio's stand arrow in an attempt to kill the Stardust Crusaders. Seeing as Terence T. Darby has one of the stands based off Egyptian gods, it is assumed that he received his stand in this moment, around 16 days prior to fighting the Crusaders. This means he had only 16 days to train with his stand before having to put its abilities to the test. Atom features no personality at all. However, even though he only had the stand for just over two weeks, the stand shows complete loyalty to Terence. Like his older brother Daniel, Terence also likes to gamble. The first thing that he does when the Crusaders reach Dio's mansion is make a bet with Jotaro that Star Platinum will punch with his left fist. However, Jotaro punches with his right instead. Atom was still able to evade this with what looks like a high-speed dodge, although this is not actually the case. Terence T. Darby is able to read the souls of anyone nearby to him. The souls take the form of a coloured aura surrounding the person that only Terence can see. This vision allows Terence to read the soul of another, but he can only receive yes or no answers to any questions he asks. He expresses that the soul doesn't lie and will always tell the truth. This is Atom's most useful ability, which can put him one step ahead of any enemy, whether in battle or in a scenario involving gambling souls on video games. However, this ability relies on Darby asking the right questions. As shown when Jotaro began winning in their video game battle, Terence continued asking Jotaro questions like, Are you cheating? In which Jotaro's soul responded, I do. The soul also informs Terence whether the person is telling the truth or not, as shown when Jotaro calls his baseball pitch and the soul confirms that it is true. This allows Terence to make precautions to defend against the pitch. However, because he was so fixated on trying to figure out Jotaro's strategy, he did not realise that Joseph was controlling the pitch with his Hermit Purple, rendering Terence's soul reading ability useless because he was only focusing on Jotaro. Atom is a close range stand, but it is not built for one on one fistfights like Star Platinum or The World. The true threat of Atom comes from its soul stealing technique. Much like his brother Daniel J. Darby's stand Osiris, Atom can completely remove the soul of a person from their body and insert it into an object. In Terence's case, he inserts them into his collection of handmade dolls. Atom can completely remove a soul from its body when the soul's energy grows weak enough. When the person admits defeat in their heart and soul, their soul energy goes to almost zero, and that is enough for Atom to completely rip it from the body. When Atom dodged Jotaro's right-fisted punch after falsely gambling on which fist Star Platinum would throw, Jotaro was thrown off guard by Atom's sudden dodge. This weakened Jotaro's soul just a little bit, which allowed Atom to attach its own hand onto Jotaro's soul. This took the form of a hand wrapped around Jotaro's arm. It wasn't enough to steal Jotaro's soul altogether, however it was implied that he would be able to use this hand to easily twist Jotaro's arm off his body. This means that Atom could technically attach his hand to any part of the body if a soul weakens in an enemy, and putting the enemy at risk of physical damage. 
Terence's gambling habit is a great way to take advantage of Atom's soul-stealing technique, as it is a surefire way to get an enemy's heart and soul to give up. In his gamble with Kakuin, Terence managed to get his race car to jump across the track, putting him clearly in the lead. Even though he had not yet won the race, this jump was enough for Kakuin to convince himself, albeit briefly, that he was going to lose. This made his soul weak enough for Atom to swoop in and remove it from Kakuin's body. My final thoughts on Atom are that it felt like the exact same stand as his brother's stand, Osiris, but with the addition of the soul reading ability. However, Terence possibly had his stand for just over two weeks, whereas Daniel was defeated much earlier by the Crusaders. This says to me that Daniel could have had the potential to learn this soul reading ability too if given the chance. But why do both brothers have nearly identical stands? My theory is because they are blood relatives. Dio's head is permanently attached to Jonathan Joestar's body. This allows Dio to technically possess two stands. He has the world, which is Dio's stand, and also a stand that looks almost identical to Joseph's Hermit Purple. This stand is technically Jonathan Joestar's stand. This says to me that Joseph received a stand similar to his grandfather due to blood relation. However, Jotaro received a stand almost identical to the world, as Dio's blood and Jonathan's blood were mixed together in the same body. This could also be why Jotaro's mother, Holly, also received a stand that took the form of vines, like Hermit Purple and Jonathan's stand. I feel like the soul stealing ability is one of the most deadly abilities to come up against. Terence's craft is video games, and he's a master of his craft. There is no doubt in my mind that if he had noticed Joseph was controlling the game controller, and read Joseph's soul to confirm it instead, that he would have easily defeated the Crusaders. It's unknown if the person has to verbally wager their souls in these gambles, as Terence won't start the gamble until Kakuin and Jotaro verbally admit that their souls are on the line. I think this verbal confirmation is enough to trigger the heart and soul into a state of panic at the realisation that it will be removed if the host loses. Also, I do like the fact Terence worked very closely with Kenny G to create the location for the battle with the Crusaders. Kenny G's ability, Tenor Sax, is to alter Dio's mansion and create illusions, which he used to create the hyper-realistic illusion that Joseph, Kakuin and Jotaro were on a real island surrounded by real water. This technique was used to confuse the Crusaders and potentially get a head start on weakening their souls. I feel like Terence could have pushed himself harder to ask Jotaro more questions during their battle to figure out his strategies. He was overconfident in his video game abilities and relied too heavily on his stand's abilities to read souls that he did not think to pursue a more varied set of questions to the remaining two Crusaders. He was also very narrow-minded to just focus on Jotaro who was playing the game. If it was me, I would have focused on reading the souls of both Jotaro and Joseph just to make sure nothing fishy was going on. That about does it for Terence T. Darby's stand, Atom. Did you agree with my final thoughts on this stand? What did you think of his stand? And for a bonus question, did you prefer Daniel's Osiris or Terence's Atom? Write me a comment below to let me know. If you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel for future JoJo content. Also, it would be great if you could hit that like button on this video if you wanted to see more stand analysis videos. If it gets 5 likes, I'll do another stand analysis video like this. To get notified when I release the next stand analysis video, hit that bell and you'll be notified when I release another one. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. But until next time, Bizarre Star Platinum, out!